Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen Slowinski. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Northeast Ohio. So today I have a very cute card to show you, and it is featuring our sponge daubers. If you haven't tried them, they are a really handy tool. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive. So this is the card that we're gonna be making today. It's this really fun tie-dye card. It's very easy to do, and it's a great technique. So I hope that you follow along, uh, make this card for yourself. Uh, leave me some comments, give me a thumbs up, share this video. Everything that you do helps to grow my business and I really appreciate that. If you need a demonstrator, I would love to be yours. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna begin. All right, let's begin. I'm gonna set this card aside. The stamp sets we're using today are from our new catalog. This one is called Create with Friends. I really like this one because it has a lot of different ways that you combine these words together uh, to make some really great sentiments on your cards. And the other one is a background um, stamp called Spiral Dye. So tie dye, as you know, is very, very popular right now. So those are the two stamp sets. I'm gonna also be featuring sponge daubers. Now, you may not have seen sponge daubers in the catalog. They're on page 129, they're right here and they come um, in a set of five for $5, so they're very inexpensive. Sponge daubers are great. Um, I do keep one for every ink pad that I have. Um, they do get fairly saturated with um, the ink, so I just label mine and I keep them so that I can just use it for that stamp pad. And then we are going to need the Stamparatus. So I'm gonna put that right here. And our color palette today is Daffodil Delight, Magenta Ban Madness, and Bermuda Bay. And of course, our Tuxedo Black. So for our cardstock, we need a half a sheet of cardstock. This is thick, basic white, and then I fold it in half and I have burnished with my phone folder. Then you're gonna need a piece of basic white that is three and three quarters by five, and a piece of basic black that's just a little bit larger. This is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So it's gonna give you a very thin margin. And then we're going to need a strip of basic white that is one and a half inches wide. It doesn't have to be this long. I just use one of my scraps and we're gonna trim it down. And then a piece of black that is just a little bit wider. So that's one and five eighths inch wide. And then we'll trim that down after we do our sentiment. So we're gonna get started and we're gonna take our white piece and we're gonna put it into the Stamparatus. Now I like to keep um, another stamp pad um, underneath and this helps keep this plate level. It just gives you a better stamping surface when this is level. And I put a piece of scrap paper down here and this is where I have just made some measurements um, of where this is. And also to help keep it in place, I'm just gonna use a little bit of our adhesive and I just need a tiny little bit, okay? I don't want it to really stick too much so I'm gonna make it a little less tacky but I just kind of want to hold this in place. Um, it just makes it easier if we don't have to uh, reposition this. So we have our paper in place and we're gonna start out with our Daffodil Delight. So this is the middle color of what we're gonna do and this is where we're gonna stamp across our ink pad, or our stamp with our ink pad. And we just wanna get nice coverage and just going on this diagonal, all right? So there's our Daffodil Delight, and then we're gonna close our cover, and we're gonna give nice pressure. I know sometimes it shakes my camera stand a little bit, so I apologize for that, but I wanted to get nice coverage. And there. Now we can maybe use a little bit more right in this area. So that looks wonderful. So then we are going to take our, actually I'm gonna take my chamois and I do wanna clean off this ink because I don't wanna contaminate um, my other ink pads. So I am gonna clean it off nicely with my uh, chamois. And I've just cut my chamois into smaller pieces. It makes it easier. So then I am going to just ink up this corner. Okay. Then you take your sponge dauber and you're gonna kind of soften the edges. So you're gonna kind of remove some of this ink 
we don't want to make it all pink and we kind of want to blend because when you have the pink and the yellow together you're going to get this nice orange tone so it gives you a little bit more of the rainbow then we're going to close that and press down here and isn't that beautiful it looks like we shifted just a little bit so i'm going to shift it back and kind of press it there in the middle again we want to clean off our stamp pad and we certainly don't want to get any of that magenta madness into our bermuda bay and sometimes it's even nice if you go take it into the sink and give it a really good rinse and then dry it very well but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Simply Jammy. Now we're ready for our last color, which is the Bermuda Bay. Make sure that is still in place. And then we're gonna do this bottom corner. And again, we're gonna take our sponge dauber and we're gonna soften these edges and then this is gonna give you um, some lovely green tones as it blends in with the Daffodil Delight. So just kind of soften that up. And then we are going to close this, give this one a really good press. And there we have it. Oh, that turned out so great. I am loving this. So now I'm just gonna take this off from here. I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna close this up and put this aside. Now, we're gonna do our sentiment. So, for that, I am using this word friends. And we're gonna do a very similar thing. We are going to start with our yellow and we're gonna dab on some of our Bermuda Bay, Bermuda Bay and our Magenta Madness. So make sure my daubers are with the right ones. So this time we are going to stamp with our Daffodil Delight and we're gonna stamp this whole word. Now, I've stamped a couple times and you can see that it's been stained, but it doesn't affect how it stamps. So we're gonna get a nice coverage with the yellow and then we are going to take our sponge dauber and I'm gonna get my strip out of here too so we have it ready. And then I'm gonna start adding my magenta, and I'm gonna start at the ends and give that more ink and then just kind of fade and just lightly touch toward the middle. And then we're gonna use our, our um, Bermuda Bay and we're gonna go the same thing on the opposite side and keep more of the intense and just lightly touch there in the middle. Maybe give a little bit more at the end. Okay, and then I'm gonna huff on this, which helps to add moisture. And then I am going to, let's move this here so I can see it. And there you have friends. Huh, I love this. All right, close these up before we have any problems. We are done with our colors, and now we're ready to add our extra words um, for the sentiments. So I was actually inspired. This is gonna be um, for my best friend and her name is Penny. And we are just gonna use our Memento Black ink. So this is gonna say best friends forever. So I've got best mounted here. I can ink that up and I'm just gonna stamp this right over the very top of the friends. And then forever is gonna get stamped right down here at the bottom. There, that looks wonderful. Close that up. Now I am going to trim this a little bit. Um, I like to have a little bit larger uh, of a piece so that I can trim it. Um, sometimes it's just easier to have a larger one and you don't have to worry to be exact when you measure this. So I just kind of eyeball this. And I think that looks great. And then we have, oh, my sponge daubers go flying here. 
Then we have our piece of black that we're gonna mat this with. So we just take our glue and we're going to add some glue here. And this is just a very tiny border. It's about a 16th of an inch all around. And we're gonna do the same thing with our piece. And I'm like, where did I set that? All right, we're gonna also take this and we're gonna mat it. I actually lost this on my desk for a few minutes. It's right in front of my face. All right, so this again is gonna have just a tiny little mat. All right, now well, the last thing I have to do is trim this down. And again, I just eyeball it based on where I had trimmed my first one. So now we can go ahead, put this on our card, and I'm gonna use some black dimensionals. Sometimes I forget to use these, um, but we do have dimensionals um, that come in both black and white. The black ones come with a combination of the minis and the regular size ones together, whereas the white ones only come in either mini or large, or yeah, mini or regular. So pull off the backings. Sometimes it's just kind of nice to use these black ones when you have um, a dark cardstock. Um, not that anyone really is looking sideways at your card, um, but sometimes it's just nice to have that extra sameness. Get this mounted. And then we are going to also use dimensionals for our little saying. Okay. This card is almost done. Like I told you, it is so easy to do. And it really doesn't take very much time. And then we're just going to put this here. And then I thought it would be fun to add some matte black dots. So we're going to go ahead and add some. And a little smudge there, so that worked out perfectly. And how about one about here? And then another dot over there. And there you have it. Um, so that's the card that I just made. And then here is the one um, that I made um, earlier. And this one is a little bit flip-flop from this one. Um, but you can see it gets really good blending. This one had, uh, I think, a little bit nicer blending um, with the colors. So you get more of the orange and the green. So that is our card. So I want to show you a few more cards that I have made using the sponge daubers to add some blending. So this first card is using our um, Sweet as a Peach. And so I stamped our peach in the pale papaya ink. And then I used the sponge dauber and I added Calypso Coral just on this edge. So it just gives a little bit more dimension. The stamp set is great by itself. It has quite a bit of dimension and texture to it, but adding the little bit of extra of the uh, Calypso Coral was, it was just, I think the perfect touch for this. And then on these leaves, I first stamped it in the granny apple green, and then I used a little bit of the garden green toward this bottom part of the leaves. And then I stamped or I sponged with um, soft suede to get the stem. So this way you get, you know, a multi-tone to, to your stamp from one image um, just by using your sponge dauber. So this one is Hope your day is sweet as a peach and then happy birthday. So on this one, as you can see, I stamped the whole stamp in the pale papaya and then I used the sponge dauber just to add some along the bottom edge of this so you get an ombre look to your stamp. So that's a really fun thing to do. Then the next card I have is this one here. And I stamped the middle part, my cocktails, the contents of my cocktails. So I started with Granny Apple Green and then I did Bermuda Bay and then I stamped off so that when I stamped onto my glass, it made it a little less intense of a drink. 
And then this one was the Calypso Coral, excuse me, not Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, and the Magenta Madness, again, stamped off. So this one's a really pale drink. So that just made it really kind of fun. So that's what the inside of that one looks like. And then my last sample is using the Forever Fern stamp set. This one is one of my favorite stamp sets. And so I chose this one, I think it's sort of an a eucalyptus. And I did Granny Apple Green, and then I used the Sponge Dauber to use Shaded Spruce. And I just kind of dabbled that in different places to add some depth of color to that background. And I stamped that around the circle, and then I used one of our other new stamp sets. I can't think of the name of it right now, and circled in, oh, and circled in something or other, but um, to make this sentiment, and then um, I stamped, and you can see the, the different color variation a little bit better on this inside where I stamped it with the darker green um, toward the bottom. I sponged that with the dauber. So those are my samples today. Again, it is a really simple thing to do using your sponge daubers, and you can use sponge daubers in a lot of different ways. Um, they're great with stencils, and they're great um, by making dots like you saw in the catalog. Um, but I hope you like this technique. Uh, once again, if you do like it, please give me a thumbs up and share it with others. And then um, leave me some comments. I love reading those. And thanks again for watching.